Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixel Perfect, and today I'm going to share with you a cool little trick to replace guys in seconds without having to go through the pain of making those intricate selections around the trees. It's going to be super simple, so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download any of the photos shown in the tutorial, check the links in the description. So the first thing that we have to do is to make a copy of the background layer. Now that is completely optional, helps you see the before and after more clearly. Let's press Ctrl or Command J. Okay, now turn off the background layer. This will help us see when the sky is removed. Now. This technique works really well with images that have blue flat skies because we're going to use the blue to extract or hide the sky from the image. So double click on the right hand side of the layer. This opens up the layer styles dialog box. Now inside of the layer styles dialog box, there's a section called blend if. Now listen to this statement very clearly. We want to remove the blues from the highlights. Okay. And how can we do that? By using blend if. But inside of Blendif, it just allows you to remove the highlights, not the blues, right? How can we just remove the blues? We actually can by using the blue channel. Let's go ahead and select the blue channel instead of the gray. Gray is the default. Let's choose blue and now remove the blues from the highlights. Just take the slider inside of this layer from right to left. This layer means the current layer. We are removing the blues from the highlights of the current layer from the current layer. The underlying layer is something different. The underlying layer removes the blues from the highlights of the underlying layer from the current layer. Let's not get into that, but you just have to keep in mind that we want to remove the blues from the highlights of this layer. Okay. So take the slider of this layer from right to left and have a look instantly. The sky is gone. If you zoom in quite a bit, wow. Isn't that amazing? Now the selection is pretty harsh. We need to make it smoother. How do we do that? Hold the alt or option. Click on this slider. It actually breaks the slider into two parts and makes the transition smooth. You can actually soften up the transition. Okay. And there you go. You have the sky removed, but along with the sky, there are other areas which are removed as well. We're going to take care of that later. Do not worry about that. Now let's bring in a new sky. I'm going to go ahead and open up a folder and I think I have the skies. Let's use this particular sky. Let's drag it and drop it inside of Photoshop on that document. Now let's make it bigger by holding shift and alt together. If you're using a Mac, that would be shift and option. It makes it bigger from the center. Okay. Hit enter. Now put this behind layer one. Now we have the sky. It looks pretty fine, but as you can see, there are other areas which went transparent as well. How do we tackle that? A good way to tackle this is to make one more copy of the image without the blend diff and fill in those areas. Right now we have the background layer and we can use that. Press control or command J. Okay. Now let's turn this on and put this above the sky. Now this replaces everything. But we just want to fill in these particular areas. So how do we do that? Hold the Alt or Option. Click on the mask button. This creates a negative mask. Now simply take the brush and start filling in the remaining areas with white. White other areas which show up, black other areas which hide. So that's why the complete mask is black. So none of this layer is showing up. If we take the brush, if we make sure the foreground color is white by pressing X to toggle between the foreground and the background color. And if we start painting, see it starts showing up. Now in the background, we have this sky. One more efficient way of seeing it is creating a solid color adjustment layer of complete red. It really helps you see which areas are remaining. Hit OK. And this is just for purpose of ease. OK, let's zoom in and simply just paint in these areas. Just make, take the brush and start painting. And let me give you a tip. If there's a straight line, paint on one end, hold the shift key and paint on the other end. Amazing, isn't it? Now just fill in these areas. It's going to be really simple. Just simply fill in. Red really helps you see which areas are remaining and which areas need to be filled. Okay. I think we are pretty much done. And let's turn off the red and we have successfully replace the sky. Now, if you want, you can play with the blend if. So open up the blend if again and play with it. So if you want to retain a little bit of the previous sky, you can just play with it accordingly. 
to get more kind of natural results. Now, if you want to edit the sky, you can do that as well. I think the sky is too saturated. What I'm going to do is create a hue saturation adjustment layer and decrease the saturation a bit, just a little bit, just like that. And it's looking wonderful. And there we go. We have replaced the skies very easily. Let's move to example number two, where we might have to adjust the sky to get it replaced. Here's how it works. Press Ctrl or Command J, similarly as we did with the previous examples. This makes a copy of the background layer. Now, turn off the background layer. This will help you see the sky when we remove it. Double click on the right hand side of the layer. Similarly, go to the blue channel. Remove the blues from the highlights. Done. However, here's the problem. Let's zoom in quite a bit. The sky is not yet removed. If we try to take the slider any further, the edges of the trees are frying up. How do we tackle that? At this moment, what I would suggest is just be careful about the edges of the trees. Forget about the other areas, okay? Now, simply do it according to the edges of the trees. Zoom in and make sure the edges look right. Okay, hold the Alt or Option, click on the slider, soften it all up like so. Okay, now the edges look right. Let's have a look here. The branches, everything looks right. Okay, they look good. If you want to make it more smooth, you can do that. Now, a part of the sky, hit OK, a part of the sky is still not removed, this sky. But do not worry about that. Why? Simply just create a mask, take the brush and erase that area as easy as that with black. Make sure the foreground color is black. Again, black hides, white shows up. Just simply paint over this area. And if you really want to see which areas are remaining, you can always go ahead and create a solid color adjustment layer. And let's choose black so that we can clearly see which areas are remaining. Let's come back to the mask and simply paint in black in these areas. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Do not worry so much because we're going to replace it with a blue sky and a little bit of this doesn't really matter much. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Now let's delete the solid color adjustment layer and let's replace the sky. Now, as we see, we actually have painted a little extra. The trees have become faded. No problem at all. Just make sure you select the brush, go over to the mask, make sure the foreground color is white and just simply paint over the trees. Done. We got back the trees. Now let's bring in a sky. Let's go back to that folder. Let's bring in this guy, drag it and drop it over here. Okay. Now let's zoom, let's make it bigger. Hit enter once you're satisfied. Take this below layer one. And there we go. We have replaced the sky very easily. Now let's adjust it. Okay. If there are some areas left, you already know what to do. Make a copy of the background layer and then take it above the sky. Turn it on. Create a negative mask by holding the Alt or Option. Click on the mask button and just paint these areas which are left out. So in this case, no areas are left out, but you'll still try to paint and see. Okay, there were some areas. Okay, you can just get them back and it looks perfectly fine. Again, I feel the sky is a little very saturated. I'll go ahead and create a hue saturation adjustment layer and decrease the saturation a bit. And then probably I'll brighten it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer and probably take it a little up. And it looks wonderful. Let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. As easy as a pie. So that's how to replace guys in seconds using blend if. The process is very simple, guys. Just double click on the right side of the layer. This opens up what? The layer styles dialog box. Now inside of layer styles dialog box, there is a section called blend if. Make sure you choose the blue channel and remove the blues from the highlights using the sliders inside of this layer and you're pretty much done. Now you can make those further adjustments using masks and so on and so forth and then replace the sky just by bringing in the sky under that layer. So I hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for helping keep Pix Perfect free for everybody forever by supporting this channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.